Welcome everyone to Overland Expo West 2021 here in Flagstaff, Arizona. My name is Glenn Pratt and my company is called Red River Rigs, headquartered in Amarillo, Texas. And we're going to be talking about our primary product today called the American Safari JXL. The American Safari JXL is a Jeep extension and camper conversion system. Today I'd like to detail the American Safari JXL system from you and the different components both internally and externally. Starting on the outside, it's important to note that this system is an extension. It's longer than your stock Jeep. Your stock Jeep ends right here. We attach a steel frame extension system right here. Then we have a longer top with integrated tent and other features and some different bumper options for you. And now let's look at some of the interior setups. On this vehicle, we're gonna look at the first of our different interior options. We call this open concept. It's very good for people who need to bring a lot of cargo on their journeys, a lot of room for customization with fridge freezers and other things. And if you come in a little closer, you can see that there's a lot of extra storage options that we have available to us because we do have an extended Jeep. First, we have extra storage available in the extensions themselves. We have storage available under the floor, and then we have accessories such as these hanging storage fabric panels for taking advantage of space that otherwise would be dead space and now it's utilized for storage. If you come in a little closer, you'll see the other standard components of the system include the bed bunk upstairs, and right now it's fully extended. And even though the bed bunk is fully extended, you have room to stand up inside the Jeep. So you don't have to move anything around to get in the bunk, out of the bunk. If you get up in the morning, when to change your clothes, you don't have to go outside to do it. You can stand up uh, or sit down inside the Jeep, change your clothes, cook your breakfast, do your other things to get ready. Also, in the morning when you get up, you can slide the bed bunk forward and you have even more standing and work area back here from the back of the Jeep all the way to the roll bar. In addition to the open concept interior, we also have what, the, what we call the Camper One interior, which consists of two storage benches and a removable table. This storage bench uh, is made out of fiberglass. It will hold the table, the pole, its tripod, and a lot of other gear. It's bolted to the floor, keeps everything in place as you're going down the road, but you can remove it if you want to do a different type of a trip. This storage bench over here accommodates our shower and water system. And if you will look up here, underneath the bed bunk, in the morning when you get up and you slide the bed bunk forward, it will expose a wash and cook platform with an integrated sink that you might can see right down below here. There's room enough for a one or two burner propane stove and other things. So you can get up in the morning and if it's inclement weather, you can stay inside, you can make your coffee, you can cook your breakfast, you can clean up your dishes, you can wash yourself. There's room for a portable toilet inside, then get changed, get ready for the day. So really anything you want to do or need to do inside, you can do inside the JXL. So it's really a camper, a fully functional camper, but on a Jeep so you can get anywhere and get remote. Here we are with our final interior option uh, that we call Camper 2. In this system, we remove the 60 of the back seat and retain the third seat of the Jeep. We extend a longer flooring, and then we have two rows of dye bond cabinetry that extend all the way from the back up to the passenger seats on the second row, then on the right side, all the way to the passenger seat in the front row. And this is really good for people that are gonna be on the road for some time because they can keep all their clothing and their gear up and out of their living area, stored away nice and securely. Again, it comes with uh, a removable table. So this can come out and sit outside on a tripod if you're interested in uh, eating outside when there's some pretty weather, getting on your laptop, getting a little work uh, done, those kind of things. So this system is great for people that might have three in the family, or maybe it's a couple with their first child, or a dog and they're gonna be uh, on the road, as I said, for an extended period of time. Like the Camper 2 that we just saw, there's plenty of room for three people in here to sit inside and eat their meals, uh, get some work done, in addition to the four that you see in the Camper 2. Now, 
the inventory that we have uh, available today includes fitments for JKU Jeeps and addition to the new JL Jeep. So we have five vehicles out here today, each with different builds. We have four JKs and we have our new prototype JL. As I mentioned before, we have inventory for JKUs and now JLUs and this is our prototype for the new JL Jeep and we're producing these now in the Salt Lake City area where our American manufacturing is occurring. And if you're interested in getting a system, you can get one of three ways. You can either purchase a turnkey built vehicle from us that has the system installed and suspension, wheels, bumpers, other external accessories that you're interested in. We have vehicles available for sale right now. You can send us your Jeep and we can do the installation at our shop or we can send the system to you and a local shop can do the installation. In terms of exterior accessories, let's start with bumpers. Here we have for the JK inventory, a fiberglass bumper that's attached to the extension tub and accommodates a step-in ladder. But for those of you who want to really get off-road and get in some rough country, we have the option for a steel expedition bumper that we see right here. This bumper attaches to the frame of the Jeep via steel frame extensions and it has some nice features such as integrated external storage for smaller items, receptacles for lights, of course mounts for your D-rings for recovery. Again, it accommodates the entrance ladder. You can get these with a swing out tire carrier or without a swing out tire carrier. In addition to that, we have two different types of roofs available. We have the low profile roof that you can see on these vehicles and on this photograph here that's very slim and trim. It's only 3.7 inches, really good on aerodynamics. You don't get the wind noise that you would get, say, with a Jeep roof rack and a rooftop tent. Uh, great on the economy on the vehicle. In addition to that, if you step back here and see up on this vehicle, we have our new Expedition roof. It's a two-tiered system that allows for an improved sleeping experience with a thicker mattress, ability to leave bedding inside, and additional headroom. If you can see on here, the first tier can accommodate cargo on the roof. We have a cargo rack built in that's hinged for easy access. And then the second tier is large enough for a couple of solar panels. While we're looking at this area, notice the metalwork here. We have fabricated a ring rack to go around the top of your Jeep to help you accommodate the other standard accessories that you typically have in the overland environment, such as an awning, mounting of tools, lights, and other things. So it's a great system, works together, and with this two-tiered roof, it gives a nice, sharp uh, look to your overlanding vehicle. If you're interested in learning more about an American Safari JXL and how it might be right for you, feel free to contact me, Glenn Pratt, G-L-E-N-P-R-A-T-T, at Red River Rigs in Amarillo, Texas. You can see us online at americansafarijxl.com. You can give us a call at 1-833-810-1043 or an email at gp at redriverrigs.com. Appreciate your time today and get out there and get some adventuring done.